So I'm finally monetized. After 17 years of being on YouTube, just a couple months ago, I finally got monetized. So fucking what? Can you feel a little love? <laughs> Before I was monetized, uh, I put up a video about a guy named Rick, Ricky Rossfield, I think it was. And I put up a video for a girlfriend of mine that was beaten by this man. Okay, so he was a girlfriend beater, a woman beater. And I, she really wanted to get the word out, wanted his name put out there, wanted to show what kind of a piece of shit this guy was. So I put the video up on YouTube, put up his name, and YouTube striked me and took it down and would not allow me to put that up, said it was violent. Well, yeah, you know what? It is violent. But what are we doing? We're protecting a piece of shit by not allowing us to put that up. But we're not supposed to show that, okay? We, we're not allowed to put out the acts of somebody that is a criminal. I mean, I would say that's a criminal activity, right? Beating somebody? Absolutely. I really kind of thought all this time, you know, that YouTube was a really good resource for people that really wanted to talk about subjects that are sensitive and express and talk about and share and also to put something out that saying hey ladies be aware of this man because it wasn't his first time he has a criminal record of being an abuser and they removed it and they actually striked my channel because I put it up three strikes and you're out well I only have gotten one strike and I actually disputed that and took their little cheat, their little, they have this little, <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's just fucking ridiculous. They have this course I have to take and it takes me about five minutes to go through all the community guidelines on what is considered violent and what is not considered violent and all the little lovely rainbows and butterflies that we're supposed to be talking about because we can't really talk about the real shit that's going on in life without getting striked. And I actually passed with flying colors. And um, didn't matter though, the strike is still on there. So the reason I'm doing this video mainly is because the last video I put up, addiction or disease, they would not monetize it. Well, actually what they say is it is not a full monetization, it's partially monetized, meaning that advertisers may not like this content. So they may not advertise and you may not make any money on it. Well, that's about it. But I was pondering this thought. I'm thinking, what was it? Was it the thumbnail addiction or disease with all the booze bottles on there and then me dying in the hospital? Was it the thumbnail? Because the content was just educational about my experience with alcohol. And there were seriously a couple F-bombs in the video. But hey, I thought we kind of had freedom of speech. But I guess not, because what happens is when you get monetized, YouTube, and it's not a person, it's AI. They go through your video and red flag every little thing that's gonna offend sensitive material, all that bullshit. So obviously this video here is not gonna get monetized. <laughs> go read their community guidelines. And then on top of that, I hit a box that says it's not, um, content for children under I think 16 which is another big ridiculous joke like a 14 15 16 year old doesn't say fuck or shit or damn <laughs> like with language or they don't know anything about suicide or they don't know anything about alcohol come on man I mean it's just getting ridiculous then I did a video a video on boobs this was just a filler I was bored just thought it would be fun and it wasn't anything and really I only show one shaking boobs and then again I'm like okay why is it they're not going to monetize this? We can't talk about boobs. I mean, come on, man. We can't talk about boobs. It must have been the thumbnail, right? I mean, showing the cleavage. It had to have been the thumbnails why they didn't um, monetize it. Because really, the video was nothing more than talking about women that have big boobs and whether they should show them or not show them. And why do they show them? Why do they feel educational piece? Kind of. Actually, it was a fun piece. It was a lot of fun. But they are just a little too serious on this stuff. So boobs does not get monetized. But I don't know why. 
that's the other wonderful thing about YouTube, is they will just say, no, we're not gonna monetize it, but not tell me why. <laughs> I have no clue why. Which leads me to, hear the difference. Went out to the range, uh, there was a silencer day, and it was just a cool piece I did about all these different companies showcasing their silencers for guns, right? So gun violence. Well, it isn't gun violence. This video does not get monetized. And and I'm thinking, okay, what is it? What I'm trying to, like, really now that I'm monetized, I'm trying to think, well, maybe I should try to play a little bit with it because it would, I wouldn't mind making a couple bucks. I wanted to know what am I doing wrong? I didn't see anything wrong in this video. It was just a bunch of people. Well, then my, my husband's like, well, maybe it was from all the gunshots right in the open. I have boom, 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 boom. So I'm like, all right, I'll go re-edit it. I'll open with me on camera, do a little on-camera open. I'll change the thumbnail. Change the thumbnail to silencer day, hear the difference. I do an on-camera open with this video. I remove all the gunshot sounds and tone it down just a tiny bit with all that. And it's not approved. So I dispute both of them. So get this, it's just so fucked up to me. This one with the gun in the thumbnail and all the gunshots in the beginning gets approved. And the one that I cleaned up and just had two dudes standing there, thought the thumbnail was a little more mellow, doesn't get approved. It's the same video, okay? Why does it piss me off? And I'll tell you, it, it does piss me off because there isn't anything at all violent with any of the videos I'm putting up at all. My thing with YouTube has always been about exposing stuff, talking about sensitive topics. And, and this is a good example here was this young girl, Diani, committed suicide. And I did a video and I seriously, if you go watch it, I was really sensitive in how I approached it because when I had talked to another YouTuber that gave me some tips, he had suggested to not do a video at all on suicide because he said, you won't make any money on it. Well, it wasn't about that for me. It was about awareness. I really wanted to do it because I thought it was important to do it because these are things we never talk about. But I still was gentle in how I approached it and in my thumbnail, alcohol destroys lives. I'm not strong enough. And alcohol was involved in her choice for what she did. But again, this video was not monetized and then I disputed it and then they did monetize it. So now it is monetized, but I had to actually dispute it. And what I don't understand is what was it that made them turn it down to begin with or made it not as suitable because it is just a really good piece. And I feel like YouTube really dictates and controls what we say, how we say it, and the subjects we talk about. Bondage and marriage is talking about, obviously, getting married and why even bother getting married. Was it the thumbnail? This one here did not get monetized. But now I can do a video like this, my legs spread, cheater, and this one gets monetized. I don't even have to dispute that. We're talking about people that cheat on each other. <laughs> right, and, and I had language going on in that, and um, I've had videos like before I was even monetized. I mean, all the videos I did with my brother, I don't know, it was really hard for me to contain myself watching the interrogation without saying fuck a few times. And they didn't strike any of that. And the thing with it is, they go through all your videos once you get monetized and decide whether they'll monetize or not. And half of them were monetized, the other half weren't. And it was the same content. It was the same interrogation with the same, pretty much the same content. So it doesn't make any sense. It's just bullshit. But what I think what's bothering me about it is supposed to be a platform where we're allowed to discuss and talk about things and people being able to comradeship with each other. Like my alcohol withdrawal one, I've got about 28,000 hits on that and there was so much commonality with that video that people liked it because they too were in these situations. It was something to talk about. Now that video was monetized right away. There was no question. Then I go do another one and it's not monetized. And we're talking about the same thing. We're talking about alcoholism, alcoholics, drug addictions. We're talking about addictions. I think people like the personal. 
And I like to feel that I can go on and I can talk about these things and not have them dictate to me how I say and what I say. With my channel, I honestly don't see anything at all wrong at all with any one of the videos I have put up for YouTube to say, oh no, we can't do that. But what it is to me, it's got to be marketing, it's got to be that, it's got to be the advertising with that. Where if I'm slamming alcohol, which is a billion dollar industry, right? No one's going to want to advertise on my on that video because I'm slamming, criticizing alcohol. It's all about money and YouTube makes all of it because I made a dollar eighty last week, okay? To me, I am just gonna say what I want to say, do what I want to do and put my shit out there and whatever is, is and I am I'm removed from it at this point, treading lightly, worried about whether or not it's gonna get monetized. So so I might just and I'll and I'll put it that way, ask why am I doing a video about if money doesn't matter to me, I'm doing a video about not making money, so it must matter to me about not making money. <laughs> and my answer to that would be is when I did get monetized, I was really pretty excited about getting monetized and really what could happen. And then, but one video just happened to uh, get hits. And of course, it was a video about a man that was hogtied and tased. Oh, that's violent, right? But <laughs> that didn't matter. They put that up and they monetized. And that was a video that actually got me monetized. But I am not going to do certain content and because I'm not interested in it. And that's probably where I could make a lot of money if I wanted to, and I don't want to do it. So it really comes down to that. Sure, it'd be nice to make a little money on YouTube. I mean, this was never obviously my livelihood ever. I mean, I was a producer and I produced, it had nothing to do with YouTube. YouTube is where I just showcase my work so people could go look at my work. But when I got monetized, yes, I was excited with the potential of maybe making some money. I made five cents on this video, five cents. Just want to let you know, there's money to be made on YouTube. <laughs> right?